The gap tool can be a pretty useful tool in InDesign, so go ahead and go to File Open and open the InDesign file called Gap Tool. And we have a simple feature story layout here, which is some filler text. And uh, you'll see that we're using the design principles of alignment, uh, using a grid, which is uh, good to use in publication design, and just basic two column layout uh, with the top area spanning across two columns. Now let's just say we wanted this area here though to move over a little bit. Uh, the gap tool can help with that. So if you click on these, this works better with the photos rather than the text frames. But if we select all those and up at the top, make sure auto fit is selected. And I have this fill frame proportionally. So as we move them, it might crop out a little bit. And you can experiment with the different settings there with fit content proportionally, fill frame proportionally, and so on. Uh, it's going to have different effect as far as whether or not parts are cropped out or distorted or are stretched or kept at this, the same width to height ratio. So I have the first one selected with auto fit whenever I select those. So those settings are already applied to the file. What you want to do is select the gap tool or press U on the keyboard. That'll select as well. And if you just hover over here, you notice it adds that little icon to the cursor. What that is saying is if I click and drag left and right, it just moves these photos and it adjusts them accordingly because of the settings that we have applied up there. And it's also adjusting this one and this one because those are aligned with a guide. If you click and hold down on the preview, if you put normal, if you pull a guide out here, you'll see those are perfectly aligned. All right, so I'm going to go back to preview, gap tool. It's just a quick way to move photos, uh, but keeping that proportion the same between them. So it's pretty cool in that regard. Now let's just say we want to adjust these two to be affected. Well then all you got to do is hold down shift and click and drag and then it affects just those two that we have selected there. Another thing to check out is if you hold down alt on the PC or option on the Mac it actually moves those around left and right and if you hold down control and click and drag it will move those apart and bring them closer together. So that's the gap tool can be pretty useful. Just remember those shortcuts, Alt or Option, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and it will move them. And then Control on the PC, Command on the Mac will move them farther apart or closer together. And then Shift will just affect those two that we're next to. And if you don't hold Shift, it will just move those. If those are perfectly aligned, you have to get them perfectly aligned. There you go, then they move them all. This also works vertically, like so. So it's a pretty quick way to move photos, just change the location of them in your grid layout.